what's this? Two Candy Jack videos in the same month? It must be your birthday. Oh my god. Just kidding. It's not your birthday. Even if it is your birthday, not anymore. It's canceled. You don't get any more birthdays. Rest of your life. No more. You'll continue to age, but no birthdays. In fact, you're aging twice as fast now. This kind of went on a little bit of a tangent. Uh, time for another Candy Jack's toy box. I got an another thing to show you. In case you're watching this on the day it's uploaded, you'll notice it's a Friday the 13th. So, naturally, we're going to check out this little boy right here. This is the... Screamin' Model Kit, um, that's the company, I've talked about Screamin' before, I have a, you might be able to see some of them back there, I have a bunch of their kits. These are vinyl model kits made in the 80s and 90s before they went out of business, did a lot of horror and sci-fi kind of stuff, very cool, very cool. Like all of the Screamin' kits that I have, they're all hand painted by moi, I uh, do these myself, I enjoy painting things, it's just a fun little hobby. You can see these for model kits, these things are pretty huge. This guy's about 18 inches tall. I already did videos talking about my Freddy Krueger and a pretty in-depth video about my leather face doing a restoration job on him. Yeah, you can, you can see them all back there. So other than it being a Friday the 13th, the reason I wanted to talk about the Jason is because he does have a few neat little features. You know, typically a model kit, it's just a display piece. There's really nothing much to talk about. Just kind of, just sort of look at it, I guess. But this one does have a removable mask. Now this guy, I believe this is from 1988, this is the first time any kind of Jason merchandise would have had a removable mask, I believe. And he's got a pretty detailed face, pretty accurate to the uh, part for Jason, I think. Uh, I chose to paint him with this sort of gray skin tone, so it's now it's kind of a mix between part four and like Freddy vs. Jason, I guess. Uh, that's just a personal preference. A lot of the screaming kits came with pretty cheap materials for the uh, weapons and things just this kind of like cardboard material that you kind of pop out of a little a little thing i guess it's a larger piece of cardboard you pop the pieces out of i don't know but um a neat thing about this one is that he came with multiple options for the weapons he came with a machete obviously but then there's also just like a like a hunting knife and a scythe the idea is you can have customizable options if you're building this you can pick one or the other I decided to cheat a little bit and go with all three because I uh, made kind of like a little attachment on each of these so you can slide it out of his hand and then you can put the other one on. Basically just use like toothpicks to create a little section that'll fit into a hole that I drilled into there. So the idea is you're supposed to just glue whatever one you use in and then that's it, you're done. But uh, I found a little bit of a cheat so you can use all three and have it be interchangeable. Additionally, I also have the lid to the box, not the full box. Uh, but that's still kind of neat. You can see some of that. Be cool if I could just get like a random cardboard box just to put in here that that fits, so I can maybe display it or something. But uh, you know, whatever. And then over here we have the instructions. Not that these are super complicated. You can kind of see how it goes together there. Pretty straightforward. Other than that, there's really not a lot to say. I can show you kind of the back view here. I don't know, there might be a little bit of, you might see a little glue residue. He did fall off the shelf at one point and his arm broke off and I didn't really have time to properly seam all of that up. 100%, I just kind of glued it back on, hopefully that's not super noticeable. But, he's very detailed for uh, one of the first Jason figures. You can see the Screamin' logo on his foot there. That's very important if you're going to buy any Screamin' model kits. Make sure you can see the logo, even if it's on eBay or whatever. Get proof that that logo is molded on because they make so many bootlegs of these things. It's, it's just a whole mess. And if you're thinking that you found one for a really cheap price, like, hey, you found a Jason for only 20 bucks, it's probably a bootleg. Don't get it. Uh, these are kind of expensive. You're going to have to spend some money if you want one. Uh, you know, sucks. This is an expensive hobby. I don't know. I don't really have anything else to follow that up with. Uh, watch some Jason movies for Friday the 13th. I don't know. If I was clever, I'd think of something about how I'm a black cat and it's Friday the 13th. Bad luck. Woo! But I, I don't really have anything. I'm saving all of my creativity for some Halloween videos I'm working on for next month. So, see you then. Yeah. Those are, those are going to be good, actually. This I just kind of half ass this whole operation. Like I do with most of my videos. But look forward to next month, you're going to get a whole ass.